Well, um, hello, Point Bay family. Welcome back to our um, traditional uh, AMA session. Uh, this is last Thursday of the month, 28th of uh, March. Uh, and here with me is Diana. Hello, Diana. Hello, everyone. As always, let's get started and listen to the latest news and announcements from Vlad. All right, great. Um, let's get started. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm terribly sorry that I'm out. my eyes are red. I literally just coughed uh, before we started recording. Um, so terribly sorry about my appearance. It should go away within five minutes, but I'm feeling a lot better than I did at the last AMA session. So thank you, everybody, for the kind messages that you've sent me. Um, to those of you uh, who were uh, worried about the fact that I only own one jacket, I'm here to demonstrate that I have more than one jacket. I have multiple jackets. I just have my own uh, favorite uh, favorite blue one that kind of matches with the colors. That's why I like to wear it. Uh, but to those of you, I do have other jackets uh, in case you were uh, wondering. Um, so uh, let's recap um, this month's listings. Um, so we had quite a few. And that's always quite exciting for the platform. Uh, I'm not going to disclose which ones were paid for, which ones weren't, which ones were listed for uh, the community reasons. But it's always good to list new projects. We aim to list like about five to ten projects every single month. You know, uh, some of the uh, some of them are done on the co-listing basis. Uh, not co-listing, co-marketing basis. So uh, we uh, list them and, you know, their community comes to us. So it's a great asset uh, for us because their community registers on our website and they're actively engaged in trading uh, of their token. Uh, second basis, we uh, list the most popular and up-and-coming tokens. That's kind of less so. Uh, but we do have like about one or two uh, of those once in a while uh, but we do have i think well, you know all of the most popular tokens at the moment and the third uh way that we list tokens is the uh paid listing um so you know the company uh, the companies and the projects come to us and we uh, negotiate with them and we list their tokens uh on our exchange on the commercial basis obviously uh, the, there could be a combination of the two, so we give them a very low price, uh, but we, uh, you know, they bring us quite a lot of communities, so etc, etc, etc. So the tokens that we uh, listed this month uh, in no particular order, uh, so that's GTO, GTO, Pixel, um, Pendle, Looks Rare, Looks Token, uh, Alt, Lair, ALT token, uh, Sleepless AI, AI token, uh, Lever FI, Lever token, uh, Pyth network, Pyth token, and the uh, Storage, Store J, Store J token. Um, so all of those tokens were listed on our platform in the last month. Um, either on the co-marketing basis on, or on the commercial basis. So that's always uh, a good thing and that's always exciting for the platform as a whole. Um, so all of those tokens are available on our website and on our uh, exchange. So uh, if you have them, go and uh, go and trade them. <clears throat> uh, there are quite... We've also published materials in the blog where we uh, discuss uh, those uh, to tokens. And also, I think at the end of this month, we will be doing... Uh, we did it at, lot, at the end of February. We'll be doing it now. So that's the uh, new thing that we've started doing. That's the uh, listing uh, digest. So we um, outline all of the tokens that we've listed and we describe what they do. Um, you can go to our blog, so that's blog.pointpay.io, uh, where you can find all of the information about those tokens, what they do, how they're governed, uh, why we've decided to list them. It is all terribly exciting, so let's move on. Um, so let's move on from the listings, from the tokens to the stakings. As I've promised uh, numerous times, 
we uh, are as a company we're aiming to increase our staking offerings uh, we had a bit of a dry spell for uh, a number of months uh, but nonetheless um, we uh, this month we kind of went all out uh, and we've decided to list uh, a large number of tokens uh, for the stakings we've decided to stake a large number of tokens uh, we've selected over half a dozen of them i think over a dozen actually uh, so they can all be now staked at the point pay platform you can go there and have a look so the ones that we've um, the new stakings that we've introduced to our platform are uh, uh, Solana, Dash, XVS, RDNT, Flocky, Dai, Matic, Band, LPT, ING, FET, EGLD, DOT, uh, APE, ATOM, TRX, AA, AXS, AVAX, ADA, NIA, XTZ, ETH, Ethereum, uh, USDT and of course our own PXP uh, for up to 8%. I will move on to uh, that. I will kind of recap that news a bit later. So all of those could be staked for a short period of time for 30 days. So if you are, you know, we all know that the crypto market is moving very rapidly and there is not much stability, meaning that, you know, predicting uh, the future value of your tokens could be quite hard. Uh, so that's a perfect opportunity for you. You can list uh, the point, uh, the all of the aforementioned tokens on the point pay platform for 30 days get those APRs. I think the highest one is uh, Polkadot uh, and the second highest is Band. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead. Oh no, no. Uh, Atom uh, is uh, is 8% in, and AXS is 11%. So you can go on our platform, you can stake those tokens if you have them, if you believe in the project. I think that's a great opportunity and the 30 days, you know, it's not that much risk uh, in staking for 30 days, you know, not, well, you know, crypto market is a fast uh, moving market, but nonetheless, I think uh, 30 days is kind of, is the perfect time to stake your tokens, uh, to have a look of, uh, at, you know, what they're doing. So you can do it now at the Point Bay uh, platform. So... Uh, let's move on to the news that uh, I think all of you were quite excited about. Uh, we had an extraordinary um, AMA session uh, last week. Uh, Diana wasn't there. I'm terribly sorry, Diana, but uh, she was a bit busy. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, um, we had a short AMA session for half an hour where I kind of just went through what is going on with the token, how we plan to approach it, etc., uh, etc. Et so the token swap uh, began on the 12th of March and uh, the active part will continue until the 2nd of April, which is Tuesday next week. Um, it will still go on for another month afterwards, but the reason why we're setting kind of those stages and the phases of the token swap is because uh, we want to swap as many tokens as possible that's a very important thing you know we want to get them all done in one batch um, so um, yes yeah, so last uh, week on the 11th of March all of the uh, not last week two weeks ago um, all of the uh, PXPs were unstaked uh, old PXPs and you had to go do the token swap and restake them. Um, so what else? Um, and yes, yeah, so next week, uh, I'll, I'll, let me just, sorry, I'm just mumbling. Um, so let's just go through the main changes um, in the to to in the point pay token. So the PXP uh, was updated a number of ways. So the, um, the new blockchain is Avalanche. Uh, and it will have a multi-chain support. So for now, I think it's only Avalanche, uh, but in the future, we will add more networks to that. Uh, the ones that we are currently considering are obviously the Ethereum and probably uh, the um, 
BNB. Uh, but <clears throat> this is not all certain. So at the moment it's uh, it's Avalanche, but yes, we will be adding more uh, blockchains and in the future we aim to have like five or eight or whatever, you know. Uh, we want this token, we want our token to be as tradable as possible. That's one of the reasons why we're doing it because we want, we really want our token to be a multi-chain, we want it to be modern, we want it to be in line with all of the all of the newest uh, things uh, in the market. <clears throat> so the uh, token supply uh, of the token was reduced by uh, ten times. Uh, so we the initial supply was a billion. Uh, we've burnt uh, roughly one point seven something of it. So uh, two point eight. 800 and 828 million roughly was left uh so we uh divide that by 10 and we get 100 million so 100 million is a good number uh first of all it's the number of uh the tokens on the bnb uh blockchain on a number of other native blockchains and we think it's you know it's a more manageable number so that was all done for the benefit of the community um so yes, the supply was reduced and the current supply is a hundred million as opposed to a billion uh, that we've had before. Um, and we are also aiming to have a dip deeper integration of the token within our platform. So, <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> so... There you have it. Um, again, all of the details about uh, about the token swap, you can find a specific AMA-related uh, token swap AMA session. Uh, sorry. Token swap-related kind of specific AMA session, you can find it on our uh, YouTube. Uh, you can literally go in our playlist and everything will be there. Uh, so it has all started on 12th of March. We, I think I'm happy to say we've managed to uh, close about 70% of all of the uh, users on our platform, which is an absolutely great thing. This is what we were aiming for. So the active part <clears throat> will go through uh, from the 12th of uh, March uh, to the 2nd of April, which is Tuesday next week. So literally a couple of days. And then we're planning to run it for another month um, and uh, then it will be done afterwards on case by case basis. So if you haven't swapped it, you can uh, go to our support and they will do it for you. You know, quite a lot of people, which I found quite funny, quite a lot of people on uh, on uh, Telegram were saying, oh, uh, what happened? I transferred my tokens to uh, BitGlobal. What happened to BitGlobal? Well, BitGlobal closed more than a year ago. So, you know, um, it's important to keep up to date. And I'm sure we're going to have quite a lot of people, uh, quite a lot of people coming to us, I don't know, in half a year time saying, oh, I forgot about the token swap, you know, what is happening within your platform. So, you know, it's it's. I think it's very important to keep track of all of the things that uh, that is going on with the project. Um, so yes, the active part will go will go on until the second of April. Uh, so that's where we will conclude the main phase. Uh, we'll have a phase two, kind of a bit of a slower one, until the second of May, uh, and then afterwards we're going to turn off the uh, swap page, and everything will be done on case by case basis. So. If you're out there and if you have PXP tokens, please exchange it now, uh, because in some year, in some time, we will have to close the old contract. Uh, so if you will come to us and say in two years' time, and you said, "Oh, I remember, I bought this token yonks ago, and I didn't really follow you on any of the social media, and I have it lying around in my account, and now it's worth uh, a couple of thousand, you know." Uh, can I swap it? The answer is no. Um, so you have to do it now. You have to follow the project. That is absolutely imperative. But I'm happy to say that 70% of you managed to do it within the first two weeks, which is absolutely amazing. So, so thank you. 
Thank you very much for that. Um, as I mentioned before, the token swap is very straightforward. As long as you have passed KYC, so the uh, swap page will appear to you. But if you will go to swap, it will literally say you have to pass KYC before you do uh, you do the swap. <clears throat> So if you've passed KYC, it will take us from 24 to 48 hours. Obviously, on the 12th of March, we had quite a lot of uh, people. So I think uh, some of you had to wait for slightly longer. Uh, but I think 90% of you who applied did get it within that time frame. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, did get it within that time frame, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and now I think some of you got it within 10 minutes. Uh, I think now we're doing it within a couple of hours. So do go ahead and do it if you haven't done so. Uh, it's very straightforward. You literally just have to consent to it and that's it. So, um, yes. So what else? Oh, yes. So from um, this... Uh, from this Tuesday, we've managed to uh, secure an agreement with Bitru and um, Whitebit, so they will uh, swap their tokens on the. So they will swap the PXP tokens on their platform automatically. So that's why we weren't able to do it a week ago. Uh, we would have liked it to be. Uh, as quick as possible and we would have liked it uh, to for you not to transfer your PXPs from uh, Btrue or Whitebiz and didn't you know not paying them commission etc etc uh, but unfortunately the agreement hasn't been reached at that point so we've only managed to reach an agreement uh, last Friday so that's why we're doing it on Tuesday so from this Tuesday um, all of the 26th of March, uh, all of the withdrawals, deposits, and trading on those platform was on those platforms was stopped. Uh, so they it will take them a week to uh, to do the swap. So pretty much how it will be done. It's exactly the same as as on Point Pay platform. Um, they will literally call us up and say we have. Yadi yada million tokens on our platform. Uh, we will send them the new tokens. They will swap it for you. So from uh, the second of April, you will be able to trade uh, the new PXP tokens on uh, Btrue and Widebit, and on another exchange uh, that you might all already know very well that I will talk about slightly, <clears throat> slightly later. Um, so, uh, what else? Uh, let me think. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, yes. Let's move on to the other news. Sorry, my head is a bit kind of hazy because I'm still a bit ill. So, let's move on to the other news. Uh, there is a huge news that I want to announce to all of you. Uh, this was uh, requested many, many, many times. Um, I haven't announced that I said that we might do it within a year or two or whatever. That's in our long-term plans. Um, so here it is. Point Pay is going to be launching their own blockchain. How amazing is that? Uh, so we are going to be launching our own blockchain that was uh, in testing and that was in development for the last couple of months. I haven't announced it yet because I still didn't know whether it's going to happen. Uh, I was I was hoping to announce it next month, uh, but uh, the progress is already huge. Uh, and so yes, I'm announcing that Point Pay. It's going to have its own blockchain. Uh, how it will be called, I don't know. We're still kind of in negotiations. Um, I'm probably routing, voting for PXP20. I think that's quite a good name. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, so the uh, Point Pay network is basically a version of the um, Ethereum network. 
uh, that we've uh, tweaked a bit and you know uh, we kept the main way that it works having kind of full nodes to check and to store the blockchain uh, history and the light nodes you know interacting with the network so um, we saved the proof of stake protocols there as well uh, so it makes it uh, a lot more efficient and uh, obviously we're all for the environment and it, it uses a lot less energy you know uh, so what else is happening so uh, point pay uh, network uh, will have their own evm so if you don't know what's an evm so that's an ethereum virtual machine so that means that the developers will be able to create uh, and use smart contracts um, in solidity and other languages just like ethereum you know so it will be super flexible and super scalable uh, and it is easy uh, to move your existing ethereum projects over uh, and to build the new ones so um, yeah i think that's quite an important announcement uh, we've uh, so where the PXP token will have its own uh, blockchain and the PXP token will be multi-chain as well. So that's a completely new uh, kind of way of looking at point pay, you know, because not that many projects have their own blockchain. It costs an incredibly large amount of money but we've managed to we've managed to do it our developers are absolutely super and they've managed uh, to do it at a fraction of a cost that you know binance did it for example a couple of years ago because the technology moved on and we we know how to do all of those things um, so that will be available in some time uh, but yes i'm already able to announce that it is currently in development uh, and we've been actively working on it for the last couple of months uh, and that will be available hopefully uh, sometime this year uh, but yes it's it's an absolutely it's an absolutely uh, huge huge um, huge thing uh, obviously PXP token will be integrated within that system, uh, you know, so the network will have its own kind of tokens which, with which you will be able to uh, pay for the transaction, paying for the fees, uh, interacting with the smart contracts and votes on uh, certain network decisions. So we designed it kind of, it's, it's one of the ways that we're in, obviously, yet again, trying to introduce uh, use cases to to the new version of the of the PXPs. I can't even tell you how huge it is. I genuinely thought that if project is going to go well, we will be able to do it in the long term. I can tell you now that this is happening because the technology moved on uh, so much faster than we thought, and we are now able to do it. Uh, a lot cheaper than it was, for example, a couple of years ago when I was kind of starting out in the company. The technology really moved on. So we are going to be introducing the point pay network to uh, to everybody. Uh, what else? We're going to be launching a test net. So you will be able to kind of play around there, launch new contracts, uh, you know, uh, look at the system updates, see how the work will be done uh you know how to interact with the decentralized apps as well you know so our goal essentially is to create a reliable and incredibly scalable energy efficient which is very important uh blockchain uh that you know will have its value as ethereum does and pretty much that's my idea of creating um a point pay network so, yes, as I mentioned before, Point Pay token is a multi-chain token. It's an incredibly scalable token. We're going to be introducing, we've already introduced quite a lot of use cases uh, for the token within our platform. So, so there are going to be a lot more use cases uh, for the PXP token. Um, obviously, with the new blockchain, uh, you will be able to pay for the fees in PXP, which is absolutely exciting. Um, and I think PXP is going to become more useful and more valuable in the future. Um, 
technology has moved on. I think we are able uh, to do it now. So that's an absolutely great and absolutely huge uh, news that all of you should rejoice. Uh, you know, and I and I genuinely think it's one of the biggest things that we've ever done. We've already done. Uh, you know, we've rewritten the platform. Uh, we've uh, redone our token. Uh, we've introduced quite a lot of things, and now we're going to be having our own blockchain. And I think this is absolutely exciting, and that's a new uh, that's a new way that people will look at point pay because many big projects cannot even afford uh, to have their own network. We will have our own network. I think it's incredibly important for the. Uh, future of uh, our project and for kind of the overall development because obviously they have a long-term view of the project and I think this is going to bring an absolutely great value uh, to our users and to the ecosystem as a whole. Um, okay, having mentioned that, sorry, as many of you already um, found out yesterday, um, Point Pay um, pre-launched uh, the token uh, on the Point Pay platform. So, what does a pre-launch mean, and what's the difference between listing and a pre-launch? So, uh, what it means is essentially that, uh, first of all, because Point Pay is not just a meme token; it's not just a token that exists in a vacuum. It is a token that exists within the Point Pay platform. And that means that uh, its value is used in cal calculating of the fees. Its value is used into uh, kind of uh, measuring uh, certain things on the platform, you know, your uh, PXP levels, etc. So uh, we uh, that's why we had to introduce it to our platform meanwhile. So in this uh, one-week transition period, when the PXP is not traded, we thought it would be only fair to introduce it to our platform uh, because quite a, a lot of you wrote to me that your uh, balance is zero. I was very disappointed that quite a lot of you had only had PXP on your platform. Um, but yes, I thought it wasn't proper. So uh, we've promised it many, many times before. So here it is. Uh, we've pre-launched... Uh, PXP on our platform. So that's not a type of listing. It's a pre-launch. Uh, so that's before the launch of the PXP on our platform. I hope it does make sense. Um, so that was done in that way in order to, first of all, to determine the uh, price of the uh, of the PXP. So uh, the trading stopped on uh, Tuesday. So on Wednesday, yesterday, um, they had, um, we've started trading early in the morning uh, from the old PXP price because we thought it was only fair. Um, but, you know, PXP doesn't determine the price. P uh, I mean, Point Pay doesn't determine the price. Point Pay doesn't write any of those protocols. It's, impro it's incredibly important to note that, uh, you know, the market determines the price of the PXP. And this is all organic. We have nothing to say uh, within it. Uh, so we've started trading uh, from the old PXP price. And literally within a couple of hours, uh, the price of the PXP uh, went to 0 0.07. So that's exactly 8.28 uh, of the... If you would multiply the old price... Sorry. If you will multiply the old price uh, of the PXP that was on Monday to the new price of the newer version of the PXP multiplied by 8.28, you will get the price that it is now. And that was all done organically. And it literally took the market literally an hour uh, to get there. So that's absolutely great. We are very, very happy. So that's kind of, that was an exercise in order to set the new price for the token, you know, because some of you, Michael, Don, 
you know, you're all asking uh, what's going to be the new price of the PXP, blah, 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 blah. And I was telling you the market will decide. So the market decided. It took the market two hours to decide that the price is going to be 8.28 times higher. That's what I thought it would be anyways and even higher but you know that's how market works some of you made money you know i think not many of you made money but i think you know some of you might have made a couple of hundred maybe a thousand or so uh but nonetheless um it's a good thing that we've managed to establish the uh pxp price organically and that was uh, an exercise uh for the pre-launch of the token in order to do so uh, so what else is happening? So uh, the introduction of the token, of the new token, will help us to test our own system. So as I mentioned before, PointPay inter is integrated uh, on all levels on the PointPay platform from paying the fees uh, to getting kind of certain perks and benefits. So we had to test the new version of the token before it will go to market. So that's why we had to do it. Um, and yeah, pretty much uh, trading is a was a key part of making sure that the full launch of the uh, point pay network and the PXP uh, will happen smoothly. And we, um, you know, we really want you to participate uh, and show you the support of our token. So then on the 2nd of April, uh, we're planning to open the floodgates uh, and the PXP will be traded on three exchanges. So that's going to be uh point pay white bit and be true and we're currently in negotiations with uh another top exchange well actually several of them uh but uh please do expect a uh listing of the new version of the token uh in a very short while maybe in a month maybe within a couple of months so we're still in negotiation so but we're aiming uh we're aiming to bring it to you very very shortly um goodness me uh it's been 30 minutes okay uh let me uh have four minutes so what else has been happening uh so we had uh it was the end of the first quarter of 2024 the year went by very very quickly we have managed to accomplish quite a lot of things so that's all very well so um what what have we managed to do this year so we've successfully managed to uh do the token swap trust me it's a very very hard thing to do um development wise and kind of um, everything else wise so we've managed to do it business development wise um so we've managed to do the token swap uh we've uh, significantly expanded the uh cryptocurrency offerings on our platform so we've introduced i think somewhere in the region of 20 or even 25 new pairs you have i have to check it out uh but we've introduced more uh tokens to our platform uh we've introduced just now over a dozen uh new stakings on our platform as well so this is one of those things that i've promised you before so we're doing it now um so what else we are currently developing and testing the uh, token booster uh, platform. So that, uh, you know, and I think, I believe it's within the few months uh, that we will be introducing it uh, to the wider public uh, where we will be doing a, a full launch. Um, it is currently in the testing stages. So the bulk of the code, I think 95% of it was is already written. Uh, so now it's in the testing stages. So I think we're going to be introducing it to the public within a month or a couple of months time. But we really, really need to test it. And as I have mentioned before, uh, over the last quarter, we were uh, developing the point pay uh, blockchain network. Uh, so kind of then that marks another step, another milestone in the development of the project. Uh, I know that it was a bit of a surprise to all of you, uh, but I wanted to keep it under wraps. I know that many of you didn't even suspect that this is happening, uh, but I think this is all very, very exciting. Uh, and I think the company managed to achieve a lot of things in the last half a year, you know, token swap, many sleepless nights, uh, new network that we are developing, 
and the token uh, and the token booster platform that we're developing as well quite a lot of things are happening on the point pay platform we're growing every single day everything is going absolutely amazingly and i'm incredibly thrilled for the future of point pay uh well done everybody uh thank you for supporting us uh and i think this is where i'm going to wrap up our kind of my main speech of the platform so let's move on to the questions thank you very much diana okay so here's the first question about the token swap why the new pxp tokens don't have the same value like the old one when the right numbers will be displayed on the platform um okay so uh the platform is designed um in the way that it's not designed to support two different uh tokens at the same time unfortunately so meaning that only one token can exist at any given time so we always knew that um that uh coexistence of the two t- tokens you know th- there will be some transition period and we've really anticipated it so um yeah so we're still yet to change the uh the pxp token levels i think we will be actually revising them uh and we will be uh yeah i think we will be reducing the number of levels i think currently there are 10 or 9 i think we might reduce it to 5 or 7 i think that's only fair um so second of all uh oh sorry yeah uh so about kind of the displaying of the token within the platform um so uh the majority of you already exchanged the old token um and when the trading will start on the 2nd of april uh i think everything should be displaying correctly i know there's some many of you were worried uh that when you logged in so yesterday uh, not yesterday on tuesday uh we've stopped the trading on whitebit and btrue uh which meant that the value of the uh, old pxp was technically zero uh because it wasn't traded um so many of you you know called me up and started writing oh, i logged in into my point pay uh, app and it shows that the value of my holdings is zero even though i have you know many many thousands of pxp tokens that's exactly why um so um today uh, not today on wednesday we've introduced uh pxp to our platform we pre-launched it there which meant that the value is now there uh so that should be adjusted accordingly we're aiming um that the full transition w- should take place uh, from the uh old version of the token to the new version of the token by tuesday uh as you know as in as you might understand you know there are quite a lot of you know development bits and the way that the token is integrated within the system it's it's incredibly hard to kind of update everything all at once especially when the value is changing uh you know especially with regards to commissions so you know the commissions for example you can pay the commissions in pxp so we know we have to know the value of the pxp that you're holding but if you have two tokens in the system you know you might have it's version 2 and the version uh three uh within the system meaning that uh, the system might be confused from which one to take it so uh we did we did anticipate the transition period and the transition period for the new uh token and you know to gain all of the benefits should be on the 2nd of april uh so that's going to be so today is thursday so four days four days time you should have uh everything up and running everything is in order uh the old pxp token should be just a token on the platform and the new pxp token should be the one that is a uh system token that will get you all of the benefits all of the discounts and everything else and as i mentioned before we are updating uh we are updating the um the user levels uh so that will slightly be affected we are uh, planning to reduce the number of them uh so that will be done probably by the end of the by the end of april uh, hopefully so that that's the answer to your question 
everything will be done uh, by this Tuesday in four days time you will be able to see everything but we obviously we all knew that there's going to be a huge mishmash of things within the platform when uh, two tokens coexist uh, within it but we are aiming to eliminate all of that by Tuesday where the new token will be the prevailing token on the platform and the old token will just have to step back uh, and it will be just a token within the platform that you can exchange for the system token. What is the reason for the decline in the price of PXP? Um, I would disagree that there was a decline uh, in the PXP price um, because... Uh, I mean, there was definitely a decline in the price of... Sorry. There was definitely a decline in the price since the ICO. Uh, but uh, I think overall we've been quite stable, uh, like 0 0.089 for the old token it was uh, for a number of time. Uh, so that's not too bad, I thought. Uh, and um, and yeah, you know, so the new token is worth now pretty much exactly more or less uh, 8.28 uh, times the price of the old token. The uh, market decided that value. We had literally no input in that. We've listed the new token at the old price. And as I mentioned before, within two hours uh the old the new pxp price organically absolutely fully organically grew to our desired levels uh when we're going to be uh, when the trading will start on tuesday uh, 2nd of april we are aiming for the price to be exactly the same um so yeah I, th I think that's uh, that's the answer, but I think as I, as I mentioned before, as we will be integrating the platform, e uh, the PXP token, the system token, utility token, even further within uh, Point Pay platform, uh, we will see a lot more use cases for the PXP. Uh, when you're going to be using the token, the token will be burned within the system, uh, and that would mean that obviously. As it will be used, the it will become more scarce, uh, and the price will increase. Uh, so yeah, I think that's uh, that is the way that it is going to happen. And obviously, with the introduction of the point pay network, where yet again you will be able to pay for the fees uh, in uh, PXP. Uh, so yeah, I think all of those things will eventually bring a great value uh, for the PXP token. In the future, now we are kind of we're going through the hard stages. We've already developed uh, the new version of the platform. We've already, um, you know, introduced the new token, which is multi-chain supported. We're going to be introducing a token booster platform where kind of the uh, the token is playing the uh, pivotal role in uh, managing, uh, you know, and voting and kind of voting for projects, etc. So. Yeah, I think uh, with the increase of the use cases for the PXP, which are imminent, you know, that's going to happen within the next few months, uh, the price of the PXP will only increase as we uh, as we um, as we introduce more use cases for the PXP within the platform, because PXP at the end of the day is a service token token is a utility token of the point pay platform. When are you launching on Binance? Please give a straight answer. Um, that literally comes up. I think there is one person who is obsessed with this question. Um, the straight answer, we're not launching on Binance yet. So that's kind of... Uh, we, we, there are no plans to list the PXP on Binance yet. I think when uh, PXP is going to come to prominence... Uh, the Binance will probably approach us themselves uh, in order to list us. Um, their listing is incredibly expensive and they're kind of quite weary. 
uh, of the new tokens with all the legal troubles that they're going through. You know, we might have another bid global, bid hump, and Beatrix and uh, situation on our hands, which you know we don't want to expose our users to that kind of risks. Uh, but yes, no, we are planning to, uh, as I mentioned many times before, we are in a very near future, in, in a month or, or two or so, we're planning to uh, list our token on a top cryptocurrency exchange that all of you already know. Uh, so yes, uh, all of that is going to happen quite soon. Uh, and all of you is going to is gonna see PXP on the top uh, on the top exchange within the next kind of couple of months. I think, first of all, we've introduced PXP to our platform, as we've promised. There's, it's going to be traded on two respectable platforms, BTrue and Btrix. Between us three, uh, the new organic price will eventually flourish. Uh, and afterwards, uh, and afterwards, yes, I think the listing is imminent. And obviously, you know, that was part of my thinking that all of you already transferred your PXPs uh, to uh, the point pay platform, uh, meaning that now, uh, you know, when you're going to trade, so we already captured all of you. Uh, so from now on, that would mean that you will be able to trade PXP on our platform. Why not? So yeah, I think that's that's my answer. Your straight answer to your uh, to your question. No, for now we're not planning to launch on uh, on Binance. This is not part of our plans, and the top exchange that we're negotiating with is not Binance. I can announce that now. So yeah. What will happen with the partner exchanges? When will trading be halted? Will the new BXP be traded on them? So, um, I think those questions were asked uh, beforehand. Um, so, the trading is only halted for uh, seven days. So, from Tuesday, uh, the 26th of March till uh, Tuesday, uh, the 2nd of April. They've requested both exchanges. They said that they needed uh, two weeks time uh, technically in order to uh, do the swap. Uh, which is absolutely fine with us. Uh, so that's why um, the trading was halted on those exchanges. The trading will uh, recontinue on those exchanges with the new token. So uh, during this week, uh, they're going to be depositing uh, the new PXPs into your uh, into your accounts. So they're going to be swapping the old PXPs for the new ones. Uh, on Tuesday, the trading is going to start on both of those exchanges. It's already started on our exchange. Um, so yeah, we're still uh, planning to continue our cooperation with our partner exchanges. So on Whitebit and BitTrue, we're still very happy with the cooperation and that will continue. Uh, we have no plans to, uh, to stop uh, anything with them. Uh, so yes, PXP, to answer your question, uh, what happened to the partner exchanges they're still there, they're doing the automatic swap. Uh, when will the uh, trading resume? It will resume on the 2nd of April uh, because they, they've requested, both of them requested uh, two weeks, uh, sorry, a week uh, in order to deposit it. And we kind of the main bit of the negotiation was we wanted them to do it at exactly the same time uh, because one of them requested slightly longer uh, and some one of them wanted to do it uh, slightly earlier. So we had to coordinate them together. So we wanted them uh, to do it at exactly the same time and resume the trading at exactly the same time uh, as well. So I'm very happy with the way that our negotiations went, uh, meaning that they stopped trading on the 26th of March together and that they will be recontinuing uh, with the um, with the trading of the new PXP token together on the second of April. Uh, so I think that's the that's the answer to your question. What will happen? Oh, sorry, it's the same. Hmm. Okay, the next question: What should uh, what should I do if I can conduct the token swap by a April second? So. Um, you shouldn't worry, first of all. If you have, um, we had some 
people who had problems with KYC. So you have plenty of time to sort it out for you. Uh, that's That shouldn't really be a problem. We had a couple of people who had uh, problems with their IDs as well and with proof of addresses. Uh, so you have plenty of time uh, to conduct it. As I said before, we are... Um, we're doing the token swap in phases. So the first phase, the active phase, uh, is taking place from the 12th of uh, March uh, till the 2nd of April. That's when we are aiming to uh, do the swap for the vast majority of people. The second stage is going to be from the 2nd of April to the 2nd of May. That's where we're kind of trying to, we will be trying to kind of get uh, the rest of the people behind. And then afterwards for about a year or probably less until the end of the year. Um, so that's going to be the passive part uh, where you will be able to do the token swap on case by case basis where you will be able to go to our support staff and they will be doing the swap for you uh, manually. And after that, yeah, I think that that will be it. Uh, there will come a certain point where uh, all of the, uh, so first of all, the trading has already stopped as of this Tuesday. Uh, so if you still have the PXP tokens, you uh, will have an opportunity to do it, uh, to do the swap either on our platform until the 2nd of May, maybe even a bit later. I haven't decided yet. Most certainly by the end of this year, you will be able to do it on case by case basis. Um, and yeah, so th th that would be it. And, you know, it's, uh, it really shows that, you know, we had quite a lot of people coming out of the woodwork uh, quite recently saying that, oh, what happened to uh, what happened to BitGlobal that's been bankrupt for about a year. Uh, so, you know, we're going to see uh, because people don't really follow the news as it turns out. But we are aiming to do it for the majority of people. And even so, we will try to accommodate absolutely everybody uh, within the swap, but we're really trying to push it in three phases. So the active phase, the slightly less active phase, and the kind of the passive phase. Uh, so, yeah, and we're aiming to get, I'd say, about 95% of the active users uh, within that time frame. We've already managed to do more than 70%, or almost 80%. So I think we will be able to uh, we will be able to achieve that very, very shortly. So that's an absolutely good thing. When will the information between market cap and point and geek will be updated regarding the new BXP? Sorry, can you say that again? Sure. Mm -hmm. When will the information on the coin market cap and the coin geeko be updated regarding the new PXP? Uh, we are aiming uh, for that information to be updated on this Tuesday. So if you will go on coin market cap and coin geeko, if you will go down, you will see that the trading has stopped on both exchanges. We're trying to add uh, point pay uh, to that list. Uh, but that unfortunately takes a bit of time. Um, but most definitely, we are like you know we can't say when that's going to happen because I don't I'm not the CEO of uh, Coin Market Cap or Coin Geeko, unfortunately. You know, so that means that it's not really down to us. Uh, but we are aiming for them to pick up uh, the trading at least from white bits and be true. Uh, next Tuesday on 2nd of April and uh, we are actively now trying to uh, get point pay on that list as well so they will they will have uh, three exchanges there it is it is happening now um, we're aiming to do it by the 2nd of April uh, if it hasn't been done by the 2nd of April it's not down to us I'm not the CEO. I don't have a direct access to any of those people. Uh, but yes, our aim is to do it by the 2nd of April. That's a short answer. Could you share details about the upcoming marketing campaign? <clears throat> well, we've already started our marketing. As I said before, we do quite a lot of influencer marketing. Uh, we are doing... Uh, Email marketing, that's proving to be quite helpful. Uh, we're doing ads on uh, on 
Twitter, on uh, Facebook, on Google, on Telegram. So th those things really, really work in terms of the conversion. Um, I've already explained it at the last AMA session about the, the way uh, the marketing works for the companies like us. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of we uh, we first aim at the kind of crypto enthusiasts and then we kind of have to move on uh, further afield. So for us, uh, customer acquisition is relatively easy for now, uh, simply because we're still relatively small and we can offer those perks and our name is out there. Kind of uh, the main uh, kind of the main bit of our traffic actually comes from CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko, where people see uh, the way that our pl platform is developing and they see our ranking. So they come to us uh, through there. And as I mentioned before, yeah, we do marketing on all of the major platforms. Uh, but yes, there is no renaming of the stadiums yet. And there is no kind of sport club sponsorships because unfortunately, this kind of marketing doesn't really work in terms of bringing the real users. It's a good PR, uh, but in terms of bringing the users, it doesn't really work. We do everything that we can. I'm very happy with our results. I'm very happy with the organic growth that we have. We have a stable amount of people joining our platform every single week. I'm terribly happy about it. Um, and yeah, I think we are, we're doing very, very well. Um, and our customer acquisition costs are very good. Our retention rates is very good. Our conversion rates are very good. Uh, our customer, you know, all of the, all of the, all of the metrics are absolutely amazing now. Uh, so quite a lot of people are joining our platform. Yeah, and everything everything is working out. Uh, but yes, don't expect uh, don't expect uh, renaming of uh, Point Pay Football Club, uh, top, you know, Point Pay United or something like that. Yeah, don't expect that yet. Uh, maybe in the future, but for now, I think it's uh, it's a bit of a waste of money. Uh, there are much better ways of spending the marketing budget uh, and kind of allocating it and tracking it. And making sure that the customers that we attract, uh, all of them bring value to us, you know, that we don't just, you know, convert them to registrations, we want to convert them into deposits, and we want to convert them into trading, passing KYC, etc, etc. So right now, everything is working out. And that's kind of the way that our marketing campaign is developing. Afterwards, we might be going to growth marketing and other kinds of marketing. But yes, kind of uh, posters on the tube, posters in, uh, um, you know, on tele, uh, you know, adverts on television and renaming of the football clubs. Not yet. Um, probably never, because I think it's a waste of money. But if we will have more money than cents, why not? So that's the answer to your question. All this talking about changes in quantity, strange prices, and so on, really concern me. As CEO, can you assure us that you know what you're doing? Uh, token swap, I think it's an incredibly positive... Like, I have a vision for the company. You know, don't get me wrong. Uh, my vision is token swap. We had to revamp our token. We had to introduce... Uh, we had to introduce multi-chain support and we wanted to kind of reinvigorate uh, our community. Uh, all of the changes in the quantity of the token, yeah, I think it's a positive thing, thing that we've reduced the quantity of the token. Strange prices, I, I don't think the prices are strange. I think the prices are very organic. As I said before, we don't influence uh, the price in any way. Um I have a plan. I don't think you have anything to be concerned about. Uh, I'm just not giving you the plan yet. Uh, but there is most definitely a plan. Uh, and I'm following that plan. And I'm doing everything that I can in order to uh, bring Point Pay to the next uh, step. Uh, and in order to make uh, Point Pay the greatest company in the crypto sphere. That is why we, we've introduced the multi-chain support. That is why we're changing the token. That is why we changed the platform. And that is exactly why we are uh, introducing our own blockchain. That is why I'm doing it. Um, you know, I know what I'm doing. And if I didn't know what I was doing, I wouldn't have been able to achieve even, you know, third of that, I think. 
That's going to be in to big events in the near future. Sorry, you disappeared. Can you say that again? Sorry, uh, yeah. does Point Pay intend to participate in events in the near future? We constantly attend events. Uh, the next uh, big event that we're going to be uh, attending is the um, Token 2049 in Dubai. I think that's promising to be the biggest conference. Uh, we constantly attend uh, events. We might not be sponsoring them because in terms of kind of return for money, it's not really a great thing. Uh, but we have a team of people who fly around the world, two guys, uh, they attend all of the conferences. I will be attending the conference in Dubai, uh, Token 2049. If you're there, I will be there in my Point Pay hoodie. Uh, go and say hello to me. I will be there. Um, I rarely attend conferences. I might be attending, I don't know, like four or five conferences a year, but I will most definitely be attending the one in Dubai because it's promising to be the uh, biggest one. We constantly attend conferences. We uh, recently, last week, attended the conference in Moscow, the blockchain live uh, event. I think, yeah, I think we are attending conferences literally every week or every couple of weeks uh, and we have a dedicated budget for it we don't necessarily sponsor those events because unfortunately as we found out uh, it doesn't really convert into anything you know whether you're paying because uh, you know you still have to pay for the ticket you know so if you attend the conference you still get all of the connections you can still uh, get all of the contacts that you need uh, you can still be out there you can still get the projects uh, for the listing on our exchange uh, but you know having a booth is not necessarily a good thing uh, because it's it in 99% of the cases doesn't really convert into anything uh, so yeah When will Proof of Reserve be available for Pay? Uh, we are working on it uh, and uh, we're working on it. I think that's all I'm going to say. That is one of the things that uh, we really want to do and we're working on the Proof of Reserves, but no update just yet. Any more well, questions? No, I guess that was the last question. Thank you very much for all of your answers. <clears throat> well, thank you very much, Diana, for all of your questions. Uh, I think we went over an hour, which is not too bad. Yes, I would like to remind everybody that uh, the token swap is still uh, ongoing. Uh, so uh, please go uh, to our platform. Uh, please exchange your tokens. We, you know, in, in the two weeks, we've managed to exchange the majority of them. But nonetheless, we still have uh, quite a while to go. Go on the Point Play platform, exchange it. If you have problems with KYC uh, or if you have any kind of problems, please contact somebody from our support team. You would be surprised what we are able to do on case by case basis. You know, if you're if you have some problem with your ID or something like that, or if you have some any other problem, we will be able to uh, solve those things individually. So if you're really, really struggling and you can't do certain things, please go to our support. Or, or if you're from, I don't know, a country that is not supported by point pay, please go to our support. We are always uh, going to be doing a tailored solution to everybody. So please do that. Don't forget that we are having a token swap from the big news. We finished the first quarter. We did absolutely amazingly. Uh, and um, next quarter, we're going to be introducing the uh, token booster platform. And we're also developing our own native blockchain. Those are the main news. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. I'm feeling absolutely great about the future of Point Bay. I think we only have, uh, you know, bright skies ahead of us, the rainbows. I'm incredibly excited. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. The future is bright. The future of crypto is bright. The Bitcoin halving is uh, going. The crypto market is growing. I'm incredibly, incredibly excited. Thank you, everybody, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.